Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is uh, barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is uh, a great sense of drama here, a great sense of uh, excitement and expectation. The Emirates Stadium, in all its glorious modernity, this symbol of new Arsenal, the Arsenal of the 21st century. Plenty looking forward to seeing this, a capacity crowd here. Oh, get ready for some high-grade football, Peter. Two strong teams, as you say, full of wonderful individual talent. And we have every right to anticipate some really entertaining football. As to whether we'll see a high-scoring contest, that's a little harder to predict. I'm not complaining, though, because there are good players everywhere you look around this surface, and that's a fine start in itself. the whistle Jim, which player is best equipped for this game well, I would say one of the most energetic midfielders you'll find in Jordan Henderson he's added to all that running power with slicker passing and some very impressive finishing and, and he's a proper leader now too okay interesting now it's Oxlade Chamberlain that's a look and place it in Lukatano. Mohamed Salah really got it's an untidy challenge. Free kick given. First quarter of an hour gone. Well, neither team has yet managed to impose any authority, and uh, as a consequence, this game's just drifted. Look at Sarian, over to the left. Oh, he's got good distance. Who's chasing? Mane. Liverpool have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Oxley Chamberlain tries to get it forward quickly. Arsenal get it back again. It's a Babia. So Bamia. Look at Tarion. And it's Iwobi. Now it's Obamia. Shoots! It's in! For such a big name in your side to register very close to the break, not only creates a real buzz in your dressing room during the break, but the spirits of the opposition too and, and sets up a decent chance to go on and, and finish this game to the right Well, that was a hefty deflection, but he's claiming it. Arsenal take the lead, 1-0. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. The Bamiyang, this is promising. Oxlade-Chamberlain, that's the whistle for half-time. 
So there you have it, a close sport half of football. But it still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to groom with the lead at half time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Hostel come in, having established that lead. Again, the narrative is, at least in terms of the scoreline, so far so good. The action has already resumed here. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. Shots! It's bounced out! Really well taken goal! Liverpool are all square! That's no fluke, it's what he was there for. But for me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic. Liverpool grab the equaliser and we're all square. Oh, look, Peter, I was on the fence before a ball was kicked and uh, I still haven't moved. That's been one straight back. Nicely controlled. <laughs> it's got better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. That's from distance. Easy. Ramsey sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add he just wasn't expecting it. That's upfield. Shelley gets into the right position to intercept. Ramsey. This defense is, is wary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight. Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. Surely. Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with, and to find it, I think it was a fine drive, and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. Liverpool take the lead. Yeah, for me, this team seems to find it easier to attack than defend, but now they're going to need to dig in at the back of it. Mustafi goes looking. Herzl looking as though he's being given special treatment here, treatment he could well do without. Yeah, and having played his part in the goal, the tightening up was inevitable. Arsenal are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Lofren wants to win it back. Arsenal need to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. It's the channel. Mane. Head to Barry. And time is up. Quite a game. Memorable for its fluctuation in fortunes. An astonishing turnaround. Would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Arsenal just may have felt a little extra.